Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Real Fans Real Talk.com, where Arthur Domus tricked young and intern Tom. Tom for the Tom. white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real Fans Real Talk.com got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the archive. Even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. What's going on? We are back. More bonus time. Real fans, real talk. We you know we had some special uh, surprises and, and guests today, and we still got a lot more because uh, you know, listen, man. Sometimes yeah. they ask your boy to step out, you know, from from real fans, real talk, from sitting out on the, you know, in the man cave, putting my feet up and whatnot. They want me to come out and be on the screen, you know, for some, you know, a movie or TV show. So I said, all right, you know, I'll do it, you know, especially if the, you know, if the crew is cool and whatnot, and the actors, you know, the co stars is film. dope. You ha why you hate? First of all, excuse me, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, sweetheart. All right, I've been in a whole team. TV show already. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Don't we don't don't be coming for trip. Okay, <laughs> just saying. Put it out there. But all right, we. Got, I'm sorry, Emery. You know I love you. Okay, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. So moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys introduce yourself. How you doing? My name is Jermaine Smith, writer of DNR, producer director, and writer of Do Right by Yours, producer Do Right by Yours. And he used to have an R&B group back in the 90s. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. You know. He sang Baritone and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> now, first name Barry, last name Tone. I'm done. We and, uh, appreciate your fly hat. We thank you, thank that. you. Yes. Of course, my, my beautiful uh, co-star. Hi, I'm Nipa Song, and I play... Uh, the pain in my behind? <laughs> I play uh, Karen in um, Do Right by Yours. Okay. Yes, she does, and I played Deron. Um, first of all, you know I gotta I gotta say this, Jermaine. If you write one more script where I'm like a deadbeat dad or a husband or a baby father, me ain't gonna be cool no more, man. <laughs> Could you give me a positive brother role for for once, man? I had to put you where you were comfortable. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not a real man, man. Okay, you know what? I I'm, got you. I'm trying to step role. out of that. Man. I got you. I'm I trying got to change you. my life, man. I got I'm you. I'm right now. You right? tell us about your character. Yeah, I didn't hear this. First of all, okay, uh -huh. my character is a strong black man. Oh, Lord. All right? Character. Oh, all right, wait a minute. No, my, first of all, my character is a strong black man with his new family. Mm -hmm. He just might not necessarily be a strong black man with his old family, but he got a job at least. You oh, know. my God. He got, he, got, he got a job. You know, he's working and whatnot. But, um, no, I mean, we have a complicated uh, relationship, uh, myself and uh, Nifa in the, in the film. Um I'm not the greatest of fathers. I will admit that. I could do more for my son. But, you know, when the, when the movie starts, I'm forced into a situation where I have to do better for my son. Can I tell him the truth? He's a great father to another child that's not his. Oh, child. And that's a topic we don't address. Some parents and some fathers are better stepfathers than they are fathers. Yeah. And that's one of the challenges we did with this script. Mm -hmm. So she's asking him to do right by his titles do right by yours so he's out there doing right by another woman's child and in the child's mother's eyes he's not doing right by hers yeah. and that's all in her view because his view he's doing right yeah. so i want to show both sides of the coin mm -hmm. how we can do it and sometimes men are pushed outside of a relationship and being a good parent mm -hmm. to other children other relationships it's not always they want to be somewhere else and be a better father sometimes they're not allowed yeah. to be great fathers to their own children mm -hmm. and sometimes they're not being great fathers by choice and this one, that's the conflict between these two, Deron and um and Karen, and she chews him out. He comes back. She chews him out. He comes back. So, I think that's amazing that you show both sides because oftentimes there's this narrative that like the woman is not allowing the person to see their child, and the relationship between the couple is affecting the kid. And then there's the other side of the coin where the man is actually trying to be in their life, and then they're not able to. So it's that's good that you showed both because that's a reality to many. 
and then tell us about your your character. Uh, my character, uh, I play Karen, and before I want to get into it, I want to say thank you oh, to Jermaine welcome. for you're this welcome. opportunity. This man is amazing. Um, I have not met anyone. I didn't even know who he was, um, and we connected via Facebook, and it was just one of those times where I was like, you know what, let me get out of myself, because I'm usually shy, and you know, I don't put myself out there and I sent him a message and I said hey I'm an actress I see that you write films anytime that you have anything new mm -hmm. um I'm interested in working with you yeah. and he took the leap of faith never saw my work don't know what I was capable of doing and he just gave me the opportunity to be on this film and this is my first leading role That's so awesome. thank you she skipped the part though I, I didn't have nothing going on at the moment and I tried to plug her in with somebody else that was doing something. Somebody asked me to direct their, their movie. And I said, I got an actress I want you to check out. I sent him her information. He's like, all right, I'm going to check her out. He never hit me back about directing it. So I couldn't hear her back about acting it. So I'm looking on Facebook. He chose somebody else to direct it, whatever, had, which is, that's his choice. Mm -hmm. So when I did write something, I hit her up. Like, look, I got something. The guy never hit me back. You know, I want to stick to my word. Let's see what we can wow. do and make it happen. And I hit my boy up. And said, um, I got something for you. Can you knock it out? <laughs> and, with, so and, and, and with my character, um, with his writing gift, I really had to, you know, dig deep because, for one, I'm not a mother yet. Mm -hmm. And and I, I call myself a, a goody two-shoes. I don't think I would have, I don't know what I did, but I'm going to jail. Mm -hmm. And basically what I'm trying to tell him is, do right by your child. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jail. My son needs you. You need to take my son while I'm away. And he's basically telling me, like, hey, I got this new situation. My girlfriend just moved in with her daughter, and wow. I can't take our son. And so it's uh, uh, very intense where we're going back and forth, you know. Yeah, she had put hands on me at one point during the taping <laughs> of that movie. <laughs> And I'm just letting y'all know, y'all hear me right now, I'm pressing charges. Uh, don't put your hands on me again in the, in the film. No. Uh, I, I got to say, you know what, it, you know, I think it was one of my, I had, I had a lot of fun uh, mm -hmm. doing this. Because, first of all, shout out to uh, Tony Stills, who actually directed mm -hmm. uh, the film, and she did an amazing job directing. But I, it was it was fun, because I feel like, even though, like, being in other projects, but I feel like this, w it was longer Mm -hmm. Just because it was just it was just us, you know, as opposed to just like the, doing different like smaller scenes and it building together for a TV show. But I think that it was it was really fun because we wound up like having a great chemistry on set and to not know each other and only actually rehearse together twice, like yes. live, and then we just got there and it was just a, a great uh, experience. Instant chemistry. That's yeah. Awesome. Shout out to Tony Steele's mother who made her acting debut in the movie, Miss yes. Martinez. That's right. You know, um, years ago, I think 2005, she gave me a couch for me to use for my stage play for a piece of me. My mother had a couch and said, look, you need you need props, take this couch. That couch did about 45 shows of the 50 shows I did. It went to Connecticut, went everywhere that I took it, it went. So you got to remember who was there for you from the jump yeah. in the beginning. And I say that to, special thanks to you for having us here and helping us with the screening. But me and Tripp was doing a show called Build the Brand mm -hmm. a couple years ago. And um, Tripp was on the camera. And my brand was being taken around to different places. And the first episode was, I got to put my name first, me, <laughs> Tyler Perry, Jerry Seinfeld, Chris Rock, um, Jay Alexander from FUBU, Flo Anthony. Mm -hmm. um, the show went to different networks. It, it was picked up, but it didn't make the light of day. But me and Tripp been um, grinding back and forth on this thing for a minute. Yeah. And that's probably maybe about almost maybe almost 10 years or more wow. yeah. building the brand. So it would have been great for us to be on that show with Tyler Perry, Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld, but God had other plans, yeah. and he takes us through different roads, and we're still here rocking out. So I appreciate you for being there always every time I called you. Yeah, I mean, listen, man, I, you know, the people want to see me more, so I said, you know what, <laughs> let me just That's go about ahead. three people right. that they want to see right. you. <laughs> <laughs> listen, they hit me up now. They, they were sliding in the DMs, you know, too, but oh I'm just, it's like, that's, you know, that's neither here nor there, because I'm here with my, with, with my, <laughs> My baby mom, and I don't need no more trouble. Uh, you know, actually, that's I'm crazy. out now, so you gotta be that's careful. Crazy. Why you got two of my baby mothers here at the same time, man? Hey, interviews are good, right? <laughs> I, I guess that's what they say, man. I'm glad that you, you mentioned um, how long you've been doing this directing and just that journey, and how you had something that almost got picked up. Can you kind of speak on, or what do you want to say to other young directors who? 
you know, want to do what you're doing and how long this journey has been and how sometimes you can work so hard and it doesn't make the final cut with something, piece of advice you would give? I would say keep going. As um, far as directing film, I've probably been directing film maybe two, three years. I'm still a baby at it. Mm -hmm. Um, I've directed stage plays since 2005, 2006. Okay. Maybe close to 100 shows with wow. stage plays. That's totally different from film. Mm -hmm. um, so by trade, I'm a natural writer, songwriter, author. So I had to get into directing because I saw one of my products done, and I felt I could have done a better job. Mm. You know what I mean? So I said, you know what? If I do it, I can't blame nobody else but myself. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if you look around, teams win games, but coaches lose them. Yes. If the product is good or the game is good, the team did it. But yeah. if it ain't good... It's the coach mm -hmm. or the director, mm -hmm. whatever have you. So mm -hmm. I want to put myself, I want to gamble on myself. Yeah. So anything I tell kids or anybody, young producers, because yeah. you could be 50, 50 years old, start doing your first film. Yeah. Just keep going at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Keep practicing, keep going at it. Everything is practice for the next level. Yeah. You know, don't take nothing for granted. Mm -hmm. You're doing real fan, real talk. It's a stepping stone for Steve Harvey. It's a stepping stone for everything that's keep going up. Yep. You know what I mean? This young man had a radio show on Everyday Radio. And he keeps rising, keep rising, keep rising. So everything you do is a step for the next Absolutely. level. It's practice for the next level. I believe that, 100%. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a fact. Uh, what, what, what's next? What's next? I'm um, writing a project called The Needs. Actually, I'm pretty much finished with it. It's about children with special needs. And we know different kids have autism, ADHD, all different types of um, various um, deficiencies, challenges, however you want to label it. And I want to focus on the needs of the parents. Because we don't talk about that. We don't talk about how the parent has to walk down the street. A child is acting out. Everybody's just saying, beat that child. Or that couldn't be my child. Mm -hmm. But they don't know the child What's may be yeah. mm -hmm. moderate, mild, severe, suffering on the spectrum. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I want to talk about the needs. They don't get breaks most times. Their parents, seven days a week, eight days a week, whatever you want to call it. But they generally don't get breaks. Because it's hard to just give your child away to someone to watch them. You know, if the child's going to act yeah. out, you know, if they're going to hurt the child mm -hmm. or if they're going to be attentive to the child as you would be, yeah. Yeah. you know, and even when you send them to school, yeah. you know, when that phone ring, you don't know what that call is going to be that your child may have ran out of class or acted up. So what does the parent go through of having someone that has special needs, a child? I want to focus on that. So that's what's up next for me. Yeah. But I'm excited to write, write this thing right here, DNR, and do, your, do right by yours. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get inspired by because like all of your your roles and your movies so far have had such a realistic tone to it what inspires you are these like real stories and people you know or things that you just feel you know on your heart that you want to speak about generally from my life or if i conversate with anybody here that's my friends mm -hmm. they got something going on with life but as far as dnr um my two-year-old nephew he had sickle cell yeah. one night he had a, a regular fever my sister took him to the hospital and they diagnosed him with having a sickle cell attack they gave him medicine, and at two years old, he never woke up. Wow. You know, so when I got to the hospital, I saw the doctors working on him, working on him, and I knew my nephew was gone. And I seen the doctors performing. So I, you know, I asked the doctor, you, you need to stop because you're making it worse for my family and my sister by seeing you beat on his body when clearly he's gone. But there's something they have to do, try to resuscitate. And my grandmother, she was on her deathbed. You know, wow. she didn't have a DNR sign, and it was my grandfather's call to make that call. Because he was her husband. Yeah. But he called me and asked me to get my aunts together to make a decision. But, you know, God bless did it. It was his call. But he didn't want that weight on him. Mm. You know, so he put it, made it a family decision. Wow. You know, so some of the dynamics within um, the movie are not basically about my family. But yeah. I had to make it drama, make, make it um, more suspenseful. Do Right By Yours is something that I know a couple people live with. Yeah. You know, I've had friends who their um, child mother had to go to jail. And there's a stigma that only the baby father goes to jail or the male father goes. What happens when the woman goes? And the woman is the primary parent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is us as men, are we prepared to do what women do? Mm. We have to really ask ourselves that. You know, I have two sons. My youngest son is eight. My oldest son is 22. Now, what if something happens to my eight-year-old son's mother? Mm -hmm. And she has to go say hospital or go to jail, God forbid. Can I do what she do day to day? You have to really generally ask yourself. Be a man. Or be human and say, you know what, can I get this kid on the school bus every day? Can I get him to his doctor's appointments? Can I help with his homework on a consistent basis? Mm -hmm. So we take for granted what other parents do. Yeah. You know, and there are single dads who do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Without the mother. So we want to congratulate everybody. So I try to write from real life. Yeah, that's amazing. It was crazy because um, being in the, in the film and playing that character, and actually in these past couple of weeks, I have been in a situation with uh, a friend of mine who is actually 
Deron, mm -hmm. and where he's a better uh, father to his stepchild than to his his own uh, child. So it's kind of crazy how that uh, how that whole whole so thing worked life. out. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I mean I'm excited about uh, seeing the uh, the final. You I get the sneak peek. I ain't get no sneak peeks this time. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Either. But uh, off on that. <laughs> It's coming. Say I'm going to recommend you for even, Thank you. you know, choosing to write those type of stories because those are realities, but they're hard conversations to have. So to be able to convey in a film is, I commend you 100%. It's definitely so, dope. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going we're gonna to wait until Saturday, and um, I'm, I'm going to get Jermaine to send us a copy of the trailer uh, once it's ready so you guys can see later. And then wherever we go with it, you know, with the film next, and, you know, um, how can they watch the uh, the full uh, version? I'm, I'm looking they, for Amazon they Prime. To the, to the Amazon Prime. Okay. You know, I want to go Amazon Prime with both the films. One's a 10-minute short, one's a 20-minute short. There's no really no real limitation that I believe on a 10-minute short for Amazon Prime. But that's the ultimate goal. Amazon Prime, you know, we got to keep rising to the top, yeah. you know what I mean? So there's nothing wrong with no other platform. I'm not going to name no names, but let's keep riding, adding this stuff to our resume, to our bios, and keep pushing forward. And where, they, where can they find your personal? Um, On Facebook? Instagram, Everyday the Brand, but let me warn you, I post all types of stuff. <laughs> nothing crazy, too crazy. <laughs> Everybody got clothes on when I post on my page, but it's, you know, various different stuff. But Everyday the Brand, T-H-E Brand. Mm -hmm. One Instagram for one film is dnr.shortfilm. Mm -hmm. Other is Do Right by Yours film, both on Instagram and on Facebook and LinkedIn, Jermaine Smith. Okay. And for me, uh, Facebook, Instagram, everything is Nifa Song. That's uh, N E E F A H S O N G. All right. Yeah, have, oh, you know what? Shout out to um, to the family Cortez because he actually has a song that's going to be on the uh, the soundtrack for the film. Uh, him and uh, Frank Finesse, uh, no more. So shout out to to Core that's for awesome. uh, letting us use the the record. It's actually a pretty dope record, and I, I can't wait till uh, till Saturday. But uh, we got to get out of here. We'll see y'all on Saturday, as a matter of fact, guys. Right? So for myself and Marie, my co-star Nifa, and of course the man of the hour, Jermaine Smith. You lie. We will see y'all <laughs> next time. <laughs> he trying to get in the needs. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the needs. I'm trying to get in I'll see y'all, man. Young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. Sports, <laughs> gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com got it. Uh, they got uh, the hottest bloggers. Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh, I'm talking about the latest. Yeah, I'm talking about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the archives. Even tell a neighbor. Tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. <laughs> Certified cosign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans.